So Steve, you're gonna basically so you tell us each step of the way here of what okay. you're doing here. So first we're just numbing with the tetracaine drops. Okay. To give them some pain control to tolerate the, the solution. All right, and so what type of solution are you going to use with the Morgan lens? So we're going to do a lactate of ringers with him instead of normal saline. Um, okay. Doing that because the pH is closer to the pH of the eye. Okay. So basically here the lactate ringer is going to be somewhere between 6 and 7.5 and the eye is around 7.1 pH. Okay. All right, so we're recording, Steve. Tell me what you're doing. So This, this is the Morgan lens itself. So we just kind of hook it up here to normal IV tubing. Okay. All right. And the, the key points to this is to make sure that you start the flow before you insert it in the eye. Keep the flow going while it's in the eye and then pull it out with the flow going. Um, for for once most you take like it for comfort. Yeah, so no, so no, no, dry, uh, no dry placement on him. So. Okay. Uh, so. What's that? You got a little, your lips bothering you a little bit? Okay. All right. So you and I talked before. You're okay with this right. video being made, and and you know it ends up on YouTube, and and anybody in the world can see this. But um, I uh, I get paperwork so you can sign it and just say it's okay to use this for teaching purposes. So I'm gonna get this. We can start this one, I guess, while we get the other one going. Okay. Sure. So you can do it to the highest rate uh, that's tolerated for the patient. Start it out kind of gentle here just for the placement. All right. Okay. Uh, so all I'm going to do for you, sir, is I'm just going to lift up your eyelid here. I want you to look down. Look down. Keep your head up for me. And then look down towards the ground. And we'll clean up all this water, okay? Look down. Yeah, you just look, okay, look down. down. Okay, we're just sitting this in here like a little contact lens. You got to look so down. So slide it, slide it under the upper lid, okay. right? And then the lower lid. And then close the lower Look lid. up for me. Look up. Okay, close your eyes. All right, very good. All right. Okay. You'll end up taping this to his forehead, is that right? Yep. Okay. I'm just going to tape this here to your forehead. And um, are you going to yeah, put some towels around there to dab? Yeah, so as the saline drips off there, he's going to get a bath. He's going to need some on this side, too. Is that causing you too much discomfort? No, not at the moment. What's that? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. We're Great. Speed up the rate a little bit on you. You doing okay? If that gets uncomfortable, just let us know, okay? How long does this take? We're going to probably do about, Steve, what are we going to do, a liter in both eyes? A liter in both eyes. So, so it just depends on how long it's going to take for this to, to empty out, and then we'll be sending you up to the ophthalmology clinic. Okay. So here's the second one. Using the lure lock. Okay. Secured in place. There it comes. It's dripping. Okay. Look down for me, down towards your toes. Guys, relax for me. Relax it, relax it. Okay, good. Okay, relax your eye. Relax your eye. You got it. Okay, close down for me. That's it. That's it. That's it. So it might be just a little bit of a bagel sort of response from the eye pressure that makes the heart rate. The heart rate actually has slowed down significantly. All right, we appreciate this. And um, as soon as these bags are done, we'll get them out and we'll get you up to see the uh, ophthalmologist. All uh right. -huh. Okay, so you got one lens out, so. All right, the camera's rolling here again. So what are you doing, Steve? You're gonna so just kind of reverse order. Okay. okay, very good. And then turn it off. Are you the supervisor of the job? I'm the owner of the company. The owner of the company. Okay. Scott so, Williams. Okay. So what what happened today at, at work? 
we were repairing a uh, culvert in Rockbrook subdivision in Augusta, Georgia. Okay. On Berk off Berkman Road, right All down right. from Augusta National. Okay. And Rob Luke, one of my employees, was trying to cut through a pipe. And in the process of cut through the pipe, cut into an 8,000 volt Georgia Power wow. primary. Wow. Wow. When he did that, uh, it was a pretty good explosion. Okay. I would describe it as at least that of a 12 gauge shotgun. Okay. So what was exploding? Was it the blue flames? Uh, I mean, it's 8,000 volts of okay. electricity when, okay. it, when it shorts. All right. I mean, it's, a, it's quite. So it's basically it was just a fire from shorting. Yes. Shorting out of the electricity. That's for okay. But this is All a right. primary, which is a, a main line. Okay. Wow. Anyway, it was not marked, and. Uh, I don't want to get into that. Right yeah, yeah, that's another but, story. But so. in, in other words, it was it could. And so been you so bad. you said that there was there's signs of burn and flame and about yeah. eight eight feet out a, from a, a blue flash and kind of a wouldn't you describe that as a blue dust on the on the saw uh, and, okay and on their arms and clothes okay and uh, I'm not sure if that's what got in the tray's eye, but it's a okay. real scary situation. Not yeah, like there was a really quick flash but the, the the sound was so loud and such a concussion that i mean it's, it literally blew them away from the spot so right it's, it's, it wasn't a long flame it went it, it instant flash and yeah done. yeah uh, so his partner actually flew 20 feet or he rolled he said he was knocked uh, we back were working along the creek he was at least 10 feet away from, from okay. where it happened when, okay. when he was in the creek and he was shaking and wow. we didn't know if he'd been electrocuted or what okay. happened. The saw was not melted. We thought it was we would not. find it melted yeah. um, and evidently it blew a fuse right after it, okay. it, it, it happened, but uh, shut down the whole neighborhood. Yeah. It was enough that it shut it down. Wow. 64 wow. houses. So. Wow. All right. Well, anyway, thanks. Thanks for giving me the detail. And you, you sent me. You, you're going to send me some pictures, right? And I'll and I'll just include that so that the viewers I'll, can understand I'll email what happened. Okay. You can okay. use it for excellent training, which we will do as well with Georgia yeah. Power. Okay. Thank Good. you. Thank you. We went up to the ophthalmology clinic, and in the ophthalmology clinic, the uh, examination demonstrated multiple very fine, small metal fragments were in your eyes. Is that what they told you? All right. Okay, and uh, your your eye pain is a whole lot improved uh, after I did some topical uh, medicine, but it's still in there around three or four. So we were going to go ahead and try the the cervical injections uh, because that oftentimes that helps um, eye pain in addition too. So I, my thought is once that numbing medicine wears off, your your eye pain is going to be a whole lot worse. So this this is kind of a combination of preventative as well as therapeutic here. So. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to inject some numbing medicine in the, in the muscles, the big fat muscles back here, and um, we'll spray it with some cold vapor coolant, and then uh, we'll inject it, and by the time we're done, that should be, uh, you know, within 5-10 minutes, we'll know if, if you're getting better. And so your job will basically to be look, look straight ahead, looking straight ahead, and just keep your head up just like you got it. All right, now I'm gonna spray some cold stuff on your, on your neck here, some vapor coolant. And, all right. So you aspirated back and get it. All right. So just put one and a half ml of bupivacaine, 0.5% without epinephrine. We'll put that in there. All right. And we'll spray the second area. And remember, it's sometimes do a distracting pressure with the other. Like I'll just put my finger there and just kind of do a little distracting pressure, try and confuse the brain. That's it. 
All right, you, so you were just telling me that, that after we did that cervical injection, the eye pain is getting a little better. Um, and what I want to do is capture on video my education. I, this, those shots don't numb up the eye, but what they basically do is take away the pain. And, uh, and you will still feel a foreign body sensation in your eyes as, you're, as you blink and that sort of thing. So, so just be aware of that. And, um, but um, right now you said that, that as far as you're concerned after that injection, your eye pain is actually um, pretty much gone unless you just blink. Is that right? Right. Okay, all right. And hopefully it'll stay away. But um, like, like I was telling you, tomorrow morning I'm here again at 7 a.m. And um, if you, and, and again, after, uh, I know ophthalmology did not start you on a, on a, a medicine like Madriacil or medicine, the uh, uh, cycloplegic or midriatic type medication. But after you've had like a blast injury to the eyes, you may have like a traumatic iritis. Um, and you may have, you may need to just have eye dilatation iris dilatation so um, uh, you know you can come back tomorrow and we'll reassess you if the uh, pain gets unbearable but I'm thinking you're gonna go home and we did give you some we'll be giving you a script for some pain meds I'm thinking you'll go home and and uh, and probably rest pretty good tonight so and hopefully it'll just uh, fade away and you'll get better and ophthalmology is gonna see you in follow-up right sure. when when is that uh, Monday morning. on Monday morning all right yeah this is Friday evening Friday afternoon all right. Again, um, on these videos, if you change your mind, you don't want to do it, that's fine. But this is extremely educational to uh, uh, actually nurses and doctors and paramedics all over the world look at these videos and um, comment about uh, the benefit educationally to them. So I appreciate you doing this. Bro.